We've been playing together for a while now. I was wondering, are we friends? Who the hell are you? Wait, <laughs> we're trying to get ready to start recording. Uh, are we friends? I don't think I've ever heard this girl talk before. Uh, sure. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Can you stop talking to me, Hayden Penetier? Oh, I don't want to talk to Amanda anymore, man. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just get it over with. Oh, she in the boat today. Amanda feeling kind of fancy. All right, so like I get it, she works for Cyberlight, but what does she actually do? Hello, Connor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Sure. Amanda trusted. Enjoy the cruise if I'm the one who has to row. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Hank. Eden Club. Um, guess let's talk about Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but I had to destroy them. She liked that? Oh, no. Nah. She's definitely evil. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. You know what? I am feeling a little troubled. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. She ain't like that. Why would I be perturbed? I think I decided I just need to um stick with Hank. Your investigation I don't trust Amanda. I may have to replace you, Connor. Conflicted, confident, indifferent. I don't know. Confident. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. I think I'm a little bit too focused on trying to please Amanda when I don't need to be. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Yo, Connor would be going crazy with that coin. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. You're just mad you can't do that. Oh, we asked Stratford, huh? Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Bro, I'm gonna be so mad if Simon is up there dead. two guards and they just pull his memory. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He 
He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. What's he in shock for? I didn't shoot him. We're working here. Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Let's say investigate the attack, listen to briefing, check rooftop. Um, do I have to keep listening to their conversation? By the deviants. It's on that screen over there. Oh, no. This is Special Agent Perkins. Oh, I thought that was the other dude who always be on my nuts all the time. For Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Don't tell me you have another hater, man. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Right, well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. Yeah. You watch your step. Or what? Don't fuck up my crap seat. Yo, who are all these Rick. big wig guys nearby. If you need anything, calling these shots? I don't even know their names. All right, inspect broadcast room, check rooftop. Okay, uh, it's over here. Okay, Lieutenant. Check CCTV. It's north. And uh, you know, Marky Mark, Deviants didn't break in. Yeah. Duh. They didn't break in. No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station and the point of that. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Uh, interrogate androids in the kitchen. Androids in the kitchen? Oh, the ones that were, what? Sing in progress, bullet holes. Uh, all right, from a handgun. Yeah, so it's the androids that were uh, sitting down by the broadcast panel. Right, maybe. Hey, where the fuck is the kitchen at? Um, incident was captured by CTC. Yeah, I already checked that. I don't know. It didn't let me go anywhere uh, past the elevator behind me, so I don't know where this kitchen is supposed to be. Maybe. Um, yes. Hold on. Let me. Oh, here's the kitchen. All right. Where they at? All right, yeah. Let me see. Watch one of them be a deviant. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. Function, model. Uh, what's your function? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Okay. Your model. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Okay. Uh, were you a witness? I already know he was. What's going on with your memory, guy? Accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. All seems pretty, uh, pretty standard. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. You don't remember? What you mean you don't remember? Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Uh, but I don't see anything weird you yet. Contact with any other androids recently. Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. The only one that gave a weird answer is the middle one. Is. But he ran a diagnostic. Let me see, are any of them... I'm gonna threaten this one in the middle again. 
You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece. Oh, oh, I saw that. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy the one on the left. Okay, I got my man. Uh, what are you looking at there, buddy? If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I know it's you. Nah, I want to keep. I want to keep going at him, bro. No, it's this one. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> you nervous, bud? You cracking down? You look a little Why guilty there. Destroyed if only one is deviant. Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Not spilling it, huh? Bro, I don't even want to torture, bluff, violence. Maybe I just go straight to the probe memory. Um, throw a bluff at him first. See if he bites. Oh, look at his LED. That is red. I know everything. But the only only issue is. Okay, I remember it said that, hold on. During the first investigation, when we caught the android in the attic and we started interrogating him, Connor said that some androids are programmed to self-destruct if they were nervous or felt that they were in danger. So if I keep on questioning this same android, is he going to blow up? Cause I see obviously that his LED is red and he's getting nervous, that's why he keeps looking at me. I just don't see a point in asking the other androids the questions if I know it's this one. So again, I might be selling, but um, let's play hardball, let's go for the probe. Oh, yep, I knew that was coming. Get off me. What did he just rip? Are you fucking? Where's my help? Can I get back up? Shut down remaining 140. Whoa! Bio component missing. I gotta get the bio component. Oh my god! I can move. Can I call for somebody? Oh my lord! Wait, grab the knife out. Grab the knife out. Bro, where is my backup? They should let me go in here by myself? What if all three of them were deviants? They could have just jumped me and it would have been it. All right, come on, let's go. We don't have time. We got a minute 20. Come on. You can do it, Connor. You've gone through much worse. You've fallen off like a 40 foot skyscraper before. This is nothing. Come on, it's right there. And you're, and nobody heard that. Yikes. All right, dude, now I'm on you. Oh God. Uh, Hank, wait, what? What? Take gun. Or what? Save Hank? Uh, save Hank. I don't know how much time I have. Oh, shit. Maybe it would have been better just to kill him real quick. Oh, no. I'm trying to help Hank out. Public opinion. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not dead. Wait. Wait. Okay, I'm implementing a rule. Anytime going forward in these choice games in which I make a big mistake or I don't like a certain outcome, I get one retry. That's not fair! That's not fair! If the ending is just as bad or doesn't change anything, then it is what it is. I didn't even really want to choose that option. I was thinking about 
grabbing the gun because I have a feeling that I would've been able to kill him before he shot, so. Please. Please shoot him in time. I'm gonna be so mad if I had to play through this again just for somebody else to die instead. Yeah, give me that gun. Let's go. Let's fucking go, man. Jesus. Son of a bitch. Nice shot, Connor. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. I mean, technically, uh, I saved your life in the past. You don't remember that, but, uh... Damn. I mean, I can't imagine that public opinion would still not, like, you know, go down. My man definitely ripped an assault rifle <laughs> out of, uh, that guard's hands. Nike, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, that was Simon. Simon's still there. So he didn't die or get caught. All right, bet. All right, so it looks like there's a whole bunch of potential endings for this part. It splits when we meet Perkins, who I'm guessing is that unknown guy who was talking shit. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to think about other possible endings. I think that's just kind of a, <laughs> a fruitless venture. All right, but we did get a much better ending with the massacre being prevented, so we can keep going. I think one do-over is, is fair, right? Obviously, I want to try to get like the most uh, authentic possible, I guess, playthrough that I can get. And I feel like just redoing everything you don't like is just kind of dumb. So you guys can give me a mulligan. But I'm out now, so. Find out, check backyard. So if I mess up again, then that's just permanent. I can't, I can't do it over. That just means I gotta be even smarter. All right. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. How do you know? Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What's good, Rose? What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Rose eating good out here. I know she can cook. All right. I think we can trust them. Um, sure. Why not? We don't have a choice. Yeah. I mean, we're already out here. Can't really go back now. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Uh, how nice. Appreciate it, Rose. All right. Is there anything else we can do down here? Oh. Is that follow Adam and then what's the other thing? Put Alice to bed. Okay. Go, Adam. Oh, they try to get me again with another book. I'm just going to act like I don't see him. Maybe if I just act like I don't see the. 87 books that they put on every single part of the playthrough, then they'll just stop appearing. Read, nigga! Read! Ah! I believe that's what's gonna happen. Gotta manifest these things. Alright, Alice. Get your ass in bed. 
Oh, okay. Y'all gonna think I'm... Oh, undress Alice. What? She can't do that herself? She's like 12. How much I hate these books. Y'all gonna think I'm illiterate or something like that. <laughs> Are you sure? Explain. Say nothing. Don't worry about it. Need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. You're human. What? Scared, ha unhappy, misunderstanding, complicated. Um, I guess it's a misunderstanding. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? It's you are not bad. Optimistic, sincere, pessimistic. Let's have some optimism here. Maybe one day we will. You got a rose. What you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Okay, Rose. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. She even had a little garnish on there. Was that a little basil? So just eating, kiss goodnight. Ah, uh, let's give her a little kiss goodnight. Sleep tight, Alice. Can't have Luther showing me up. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. The W mom. All right. Uh, it's close it's curtains. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. Yeah, I don't know about all that, Luther. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay with her a while. All right, ask Rose about crossing. The, okay, ask Rose about crossing the border. <sighs> All right. Oh, let do it. Hey, oh, let do it. Hey. Rosa. There she is. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. All right. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Cautious, sincere. Let me just be flat out with her. I trust her. She seems trustworthy. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why help? Main deviance rose. Why help? Let's try to. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Oh, that's what we're doing. Survive, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Um. I want to know about her. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Ooh. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. All right, all right. Uh, guess just anchor. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Good people, good people. All right. I've heard you help androids cross the border. Tell me what I want to know. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. 
Oh, insist or no choice. Hmm. All right, don't overthink it. Just be smart. So she already said that it was risky to go right now. So I feel like if anyone were to know what the right choice would be, it would be her. You know, this is this is her thing. She does this. Might be risky here, but we can't keep hiding like this. I'm a trust her. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. Wait, I hit. No matter what. I hit choice. Wait, 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 wait. Our no choice. Oh, please. Huh? You've got to help us. Wait, so they're the exact same oh, thing? Quickly. Right, I'm gonna take my no <laughs> my nosy ass there too. Maybe it's something I have to know about. What's going on? It's Mary. Mary? She just shut down. Let me see. Get out of the way, beanie guy. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? And these androids all falling in love. Saw that on the back wall. What'd that say? RE9 will save us. RE9 will save us. Show us the way, RE9. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Stay, take Alice outside. Um, let's take her out of here. It's okay. She don't need to be all up in their business. She knows what's going on. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. Bro, put some pants on. You all right, Cat? Ain't your house? Yes. I'm fine. Now what? We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. Oh, what? It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I oh. No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! Tell me how you really feel. And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't fuck with Rose. Adam, what's up with all the angst, man? Uh, hey, Rose, uh, you want to talk about that or? Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. All right. Damn. Uh, well, that's awkward. <laughs> um, now what am I supposed to do? I talk to Luther? Nope. AP 700. What happened with the deviant? So, oh man. Now I want to know what happened. I can't talk to either of these people, can I? No. Oh, yes, I can. Just had to wait for Luther to sit down, I guess. She's not capable of talking while walking. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol. 
There's something I need to tell you. Uh oh. It's about Alice. Not now, Lizzie. This again? No, no. What? This would be the perfect time. We literally don't have anything to do. I have no other objectives. Oh my God, Kara, please. Okay, well, guess I'm just gonna snoop around. Can I talk to homeboy? No, I can't. All right. Let me go around in their stuff. I'm sure he'll love that. Oh, wait, no, I can't talk to him. Um, I want to look around first, though. Hold on. Adam's father. I'm not a betting man, but if I, if I was, I'd say that's a pretty good bet. Um, TV. I'm going to turn on the TV, you know. Really? I can't. They gonna tell me I can't walk through this little space right here. Actually, I'm gonna turn it on. Maybe there's some news going on. There is widespread uh huh. Android attack on Detroit Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands. I gotta know what's going on. Screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Okay. I didn't really... Who that? The police. It's the police. What? Deal... What are we gonna do? Open door, find, ev find evidence of deviants the left. Police. Three? What? We have to open the door. Hide it. Oh, I gotta hide evidence. Oh, shit. There's three things? Oh, I know the, uh, wait, 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 wait. Is there anything over here? I, I know that there's the, uh, oh shit. Move! Ah! The shirt right here. Calm down, I'm on. Where's the last one? How much time do I have? What is that, 28 seconds? Where, 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 where? No, 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 I don't care about him. Where is this last evidence piece? Hold on. Oh my gosh. Look, I mean, pausing is gonna help me. Let me think, was anything in the kitchen? Oh my God, dude. How much time? I have 15 fucking seconds left, bro. This is not it. I might be fucked. Oh no, 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 no. All right, I messed up, I messed up. There's nothing here. I just walked over here for no reason. Go, 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 go to the door. No. Oh no, that was just the time I had. What was the last piece of evidence? Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh God, what is it? Oh, of course. How was I supposed to see that? All right, so keep him away from the kitchen. Good evening. That's so dumb. Would you like a cup of coffee? No. I'd love one. Find remaining deviant. Have you noticed anything unusual Go. recently? Go. Move, 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 move. Unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Let's go over here. It's right here, right? Close that. Thank you. Is anyone else in the house? Alice. Yeah. There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. All right. At least we covered it real quick. That was pretty slick. That didn't look suspicious or anything. For all he knows, I got some damn, I don't know, coffee beans out of the closet. Um. No. There are no androids here. Ooh. The blue blood in bags? You shouldn't be able to see that. I mean, none of us look like androids. I'm not sure about Luther if he has his LED or not, but. Ain't no evidence, dude. Good luck. Thanks. I wouldn't even let this dude in, though. Like, we don't have to let you in. Cops can't just walk into our house. Better get a warrant. 
No, my right suspicion level 10. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, take that book away. <laughs> Get it out of here. Take that with you. It's a nice read. What's it about? Uh... Androids. <laughs> Yeah. Nope. Don't open no drawers. Don't do it. Oh, just drink your coffee and leave. What's your name, son? <gasps> Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The the androids. They. He's just tired. He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? Oh, God. No. Come on, Adam. No, I, I, I haven't seen anything. I'm going to hop on the radio like. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, get out of here. Have a nice evening. You too. Somebody else in the house? I said yes. Dog, washing machine, wind. My washing machine. It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah. Good evening, man. Good evening, Adam. About to hop on the radio like. Sarge, didn't find any deviants, but there is one black man <laughs> who was very suspicious. I need all the backup now! I'm gonna sound like that for a second, I'm not gonna lie. It's Rose. Appreciate you, Adam. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Okay, okay. Policeman left. Sounds like the best ending to me. Keep going. My voice cracked. <clears throat> Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. No, he didn't. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! I know how I feel about her saying that to um, Josh, of all people, but... And now what are we going to do? Let that one slide. What's the next move? Good question. We build your future. There are five cyber life stores across the country. All selling us like merchandise. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. Duh. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Good boy admired in Jericho. 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. Let's get it. Find the Cyber Life store. I've been waiting a long time for this. Why'd she change her hair color? Or was it like that the whole time? I don't think it was. Could have swore she was brunette. All right. All right. Well, I see one. I think, right? Look, this way, quick. It's okay. They're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. All right. Noted. Fully noted. Oh, yeah, there's a store right there. All right. Let's get it. 
Did Josh not come with us? He didn't. Okay. Can I turn this guy? Convert. Yeah, let me convert this guy. You are free. Might as well. Get as much help as possible. You too. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. All right. Any more that I can see? Oh. Guess not. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. It's ten minutes until all our teams attack. Huh? What are you waiting for? Secure the area. Get into the store. What does secure the area mean? I like the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? Let's convert you first off. Oh, or throw my camera to the sky. You are free. So I don't like how they keep timing me, man. We need to get rid of it. Where? It won't be easy to reach. Where is it? It's got the area intercepted. Where's the drone? What? Uh, um. Okay. I'm gonna just keep knocking off all the the yellow tags on my little uh, scanner. All right, it's over here. That's probably to get in, right? Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna go there yet. Hold up. Damn, man. All right, let me. I can't. I don't have that much time to waste. Um, the parking truck exit. What's the point of that? I don't care about that. Let's free these the people over here. Wait, what? One way shouldn't be too difficult. Block the road. Or where did my things go? Bro, there is a lot of different things here, man. I don't really care about looking. You'll soon be with us. Okay, if Oh, what? What? Marcus. What? What? What is she? What is she? What she's called me for? All right. Uh, block off the road, right? Right here, maybe. Oh no! But these guys. You're free now. Yeah. Get out of work early there. I'll take over. Turn around, buddy. There. Nobody should bother us now. All right. Just got to Where is this drone at? I don't know. Uh oh my god. What is that, bro? There's too many things. Wait, what's my time looking like? Eight minutes. Okay, I guess I got a decent amount of time left. Let me check out something I saw over here. Oh, these guys. Um, can I like go down there or? Yay, nay. It's not letting me go down there. She's letting me look at them. Uh, what's this? Uh, to commemorate the invention of androids. We are superior to them, but they are our masters. That's about to change. All right, let's stop the superior talk. You're <laughs> dipping dangerously until, uh, oh my God. Dipping uh, dangerously uh, into the area I was talking about before with that whole Hitler talk. Start throwing around the word superior and uh, it gets a little bit messy. All right. Um, 
guess let's look up here. I don't. Exactly what we need to ram this door. Steal the truck. Bro, why do they keep They're giving me more and more instructions? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. open? I'll open it. And it's locked. What are we waiting for? Take that boy in. Oh, okay. I guess uh, jumping is also works. We just gotta get the truck, all right? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You trying to act cute. You gonna end up on the back of a milk carton. Open her up. Get in. Crash in the store, check if plaza secured. Let me check to see if the plaza. Yeah, no, the the Android, or not the Android, the uh, the drone is still up. I always, let me analyze this. Reconstruct routes. Okay, uh, drone patrol route calculated. All right, so it just goes in a circle. So it flies there. Jump off the bus stop, maybe? Hell no. <laughs> okay, it would be too high. Um, here? It's pretty high. Too far. All right. Keep going. No, that looks way too far. Yeah, okay. Too far. And... Oh, scaffolding. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Drone can be reached from there. All right. Can I just climb it, maybe? Worth a try. Isn't it gonna set up alarm if it sees me climbing this? All right, pre-construct. Um, oh. No, I won't be able to get from there. Go there and then flip back. Oh, it'll be too late, really? Okay. Um, go here and go up that way. And that way, by the time I turn, no, 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 no. Really? Okay. Go up even higher then. Um, that'll work. Compute. I want to compute. Come on now, Marcus. Where's my button? Yep. There it is. There we go. All right. Area is thoroughly secured. I hope it didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. All right. Now we can hop in the truck, right? Now we on time. What? Why do I keep hitting the <laughs> the pause button? All right. Six minutes. Yeah. Oh, thank God they gave me all that time. Um, why is there a thing over here though still? Let me just double check since I do have six minutes. Looks like it's just like a prompt to, I guess, look in the store, but yeah. Let me analyze it though. You see the alarm system? Oh, okay. X series housekeeping. Okay, I don't really care what kind of a uh models they are identify network can i hack it alarm network identified oh wait oh brother really i gotta neutralize the system good thing i went back here and checked that would have been an issue 
What are you connected to? Oh, it's probably where uh, the androids are. Yeah, cutting around and stuff, huh? Network access located. All right, now I can drop down. So that's why it didn't let me go before. Get down there. Convert him. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. All right. Get on down. Alarm network, cyber life, netted 1523. Inner loop created. All right. System neutralized. Now we should be good. Nice job, Marcus. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. All right. Okay, let's go get the truck. Let's get it. Now that everything's all safe and secure, that means that there's going to be no issues, right? Right. Get in. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. Let's move. Put some gas on it. Gonna we'll have to be moving to get through there. Kind of looks reinforced. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. I'm ready. Punch it. There we go. Splag it. No, the public appreciates us like not killing people, but how do they feel about property damage? Because <laughs> uh, that's an issue. You might have messed up. All right, wake the androids. You don't have to obey them. You're free. They say this is one of five stores. So you're telling me I got to do this five more times? Surely they're not going to make you do that. That'd be out of my mind crazy. All right. See the display joints. All right. Talk to them. Or am I talking at right here? Yep. All right. Listen up. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us. Yeah, that's trippy. <laughs> Two Norse standing by each other? You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I get a hip hip hooray? Yeah. We're with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you, Marcus. We're with you. 
I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you. I'm with you. Now we're companion to the north too. Send it to leader status. Then follow me. It's pretty fast. All right. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. What would that message be? Send our message to the humans. Be pacifist or violent. Uh, transform Capital Park. Leave a mark on every surface. Uh, what's the what's the difference? Um, let's go leave a mark. I think that's the more peaceful option, All right? Just tag it. Choose your symbol. Oh, I'll hit that uh, B joint. Looks familiar to me. I feel like if we choose violence, then the public opinion will just go down, so. We have a dream. I think therefore I am one planet, two races. We have a dream. No, I was bashing. <laughs> oh, not bashing. <laughs> Talking about Martin Luther King last video. What the fuck? Hold up. You don't just see that shit? What the fuck was that? I have to take that back about what I said about violence. These bugs out here trying me. Like they won't get. Uh violent pacifists. Uh tag it. Tag symbol, tag slogan. That uh slogan on them again. Think, therefore I am. All right. What else we got? Any more windows? See some windows over there. What y'all standing around for? I not tag these or no? Apparently not. Uh oh, right here. That'd be a good one. Hack. Right here. The screens, Marcus. Yep, I'm on it. Oh wait, no. Hijack. Hijack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Car? Upturn, move on road. Move it on the road. I hope that I'm not being like two pacifists and that somehow like doesn't make them take us serious. What else we got? Oh, this would be a good one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Statue. Tag him, destroy him. Ooh, people are not gonna like this. You know how people feel about them uh, statues. Just tag it. We're going 100% peaceful. Double tag. Fuck it, triple tag. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. All right, hop on down. There we go, 100%. Is that it? No, still going, huh? Might as well flip this whole park. Not your slave anymore. Yeah. Smoke bomb. Sure. I don't know what a smoke bomb does, but just go with it. Maybe I should throw in a little bit of violence. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Or not. Might have ran out of time.
We freed hundreds of our I mean, technically, we've gone a little violence because we did break into that store. Just leave it in a mess. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't, but... Unless there's no other choice. I'm playing the morality game again. Ooh. Probably should have, uh... Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, my lord! Well... North. All right, what happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? The police, duh. Oh, man. See, but... Uh, it's gonna sound kind of messed up, but... In the eyes of the media, if this were to be captured... The police just, like, you know... Killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. Oh, God. I can't shoot him. No. It looks a lot better if we don't kill them. You gotta think about the long game. Obviously, it's easy to get frustrated. Revenge, spare, don't decide. I'm playing the long game. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime. My only worry is with taking this approach, one being that the humans won't take us serious, which I'm a little less worried about that happening because I just feel like, I don't know. This broadcast with breaking news. This just ended. Hold on. At exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti... See, public opinion went up. We need the public support. It looks so much worse if we were to just get revenge and... In a state of shock. Near one of Kill the, the policemen. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. Oh, Boys dropping frames, Jesus. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Bro. But I was gonna say the other thing that worries me a little bit more is that because I'm being a little bit too pacifist and peaceful, that there might become a chance for like a mutiny or like a coup to happen within Jericho. Obviously, you know, North is leading this whole send a message through violence, make them feel the pain that we felt. And obviously, like we just heard, there's other androids that feel that way. More than anything, we just need the public to see that we're fighting the good fight. Like, forget about the violence, forget about the peaceful route. We won't be able to accomplish anything if the public isn't in our favor. So we somehow got to juggle that while at the same time keeping a good reputation within Jericho. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, and ring the post notification bell so you know what happens next. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.